Good morning. Um, you can see I'm in this beautiful setting here in California, and actually Silicon Valley, Palo Alto. But uh, God's been impressing on me to talk to people to basically let them know what's going on spiritually, because there's a lot of changes going on spiritually. We basically, um, we're now in a new era, and it's time for people to become aware of that, and you need to make some decisions. If you're a Christian, you need to really um, dedicate yourself to Christ, and not waver, and not be wishy-washy. And if you're not a Christian, it's time to become a Christian. And the reason I say that is God is getting ready to move in a very, very big way. Maybe in ways he hasn't moved since Old Testament times. And why do I say that? Well, I've been listening to some very reputable uh, prophets in the Christian world whose some of their words have already come to pass. They have a record of giving prophecies and things coming to pass. Some of them are uh, Robin Bullock, Robin D. Bullock, Tim Dixon, Amanda Grace, and others have all made these predictions. And I've been following them for a while. And for instance, Robin D. Bullock predicted some major event was going to happen in the shipping world the very day after he announced it, the Suez Canal was blocked by the Evergreen. So... Uh, you can check those videos out for yourself. They all have YouTubes. The other thing that's interesting is I follow a Jewish, um, he's actually a school teacher, but he's very dedicated Jewish man. And he's been uh, also talking about Torah and how he's following it. He, you know, he's very dedicated. He goes to, to Shabbos, he calls the, um, the synagogue every day. And he's following the yum yum, anyway, the daily things that are going on and we're coming up to the time that uh, that Moses received the Torah and what I'm so amazed by and he's very Jewish he he makes it clear that while he's happy to have his Christian followers uh, on his YouTube channel he's very happy and doesn't plan to become a Christian in any case what he's predicting going on from reading the Torah is basically the same as what the prophets are predicting. And so that's become really interesting to me. What they're basically saying is we basically have gone through spiritually a time of the Red Sea. And right now, the Red Sea is basically getting ready to close. And God's getting ready to show up in a mighty way against his enemies. And that's in all spheres of life, including you know, most prominently probably the political sphere, but also all other spheres. And basically, what does that mean to you? That means you need to choose. Remember, when Joshua was bringing the people into the promised land, he said, you know, choose this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. It's no longer um, going to be a time to be a fair weather Christian. It's no longer going to be the time to be uh, you know, too fast, two songs, too slow songs, a sermon, and I'm done with my Christian dedication. It's time to get serious about Christianity and your faith in the Lord. And I've already, um, you know, in some ways I've already said all this to my family, and I'm a little bit rejected because there's some other big prophecies about changing, serious changing of the guard to the true president from the person who's now in the White House, and I truly believe that's gonna happen. And uh, so many of my family, I think maybe all of my family doesn't really agree with me, but I think the point is once it happens, then you're gonna go back and say, oh, so what else did they say? Because it's gonna happen. And it's getting time now to choose your sides. Remember, Christians, this is a warning to us, not all the Jews who came out of Egypt uh, went into the promised land. Of course, none of them, the original people did. It was just a certain generation that did. But there are many who died in the desert because they just weren't, they would complain and the, you know, the ground swallowed them up. God is a God of grace and mercy, and that's what we've been focusing on in the modern day church. But it must be remembered that he's also a God of judgment. And 
and justice. And now is the time when he's coming with his justice. So when God comes, none of us can stand except for the blood of Jesus Christ that makes us whole and saves us. So this is to all my friends, family, and the YouTube community to say it's time for us to get serious about our faith. It's no longer just Sunday go to meeting. It's really to develop your relationship and time, spending time with God. So that's basically what I want to say today. I think very, very soon, I mean, within the next coming weeks, we're going to see huge things where God himself is coming down to make things right. And that's going to be a very different picture of basically the prophets are saying like we've never, ever seen before. And so I'm just putting out the video to say, let's get ready um, for God coming. Thanks for listening.